This training video was prepared by the Texas Stream Team on how to conduct a field audit session. What is a field audit session? A field audit session involves the observation and documentation of the field and lab monitoring protocols implemented by trained citizen scientists. Field audit sessions are conducted by a trained Texas Stream Team trainer or quality assurance officer. Who participates in a field audit session? Trained citizen scientists must participate in a field audit session for the standard core, probe core, advanced E. coli bacteria, riparian evaluation, and macroinvertebrate bioassessment monitoring types to fulfill the requirements of the TCEQ approved quality assurance project plan. Where is a field audit session conducted? The preferred location of the field audit session is at the actual site the citizen scientist monitors. If that is not possible, the field audit session must be conducted at a suitable location where a monitoring event can take place. When do field audit sessions take place? Field audit sessions must be conducted at least every two years after the initial training has been completed by every Texas Dream Team certified citizen scientist. Why do field audit sessions take place? Field audit sessions are conducted to ensure monitoring protocols are implemented consistently by all citizen scientists around the state and to ensure measurements are comparable. For example, all citizen scientists must collect and report water and air temperature in degrees centigrade, not Fahrenheit. They must all collect and report dissolved oxygen in milligrams per liter, not percent saturation. Not only is it important to report the measurements in comparable units, but it is also important to collect the measurements using the comparable methods and equipment for accuracy and precision. The ultimate goal is to improve data quality. How do you conduct a field audit session? The following steps must take place in preparation for a field audit session. Step one, a trainer or quality assurance officer must plan and schedule a field audit session. They must identify a location for the session to take place, schedule a date and time, and invite citizen scientists to participate. Step two, either print the monitoring form or use the electronic monitoring form from the Texas Stream Team website to document the field audit session. Instructions are provided on the form for its use. Be sure to use the QC checklist to conduct the field audit session. Document the field audit session on the monitoring form by including the trainer's name and signature. And also in the comments field, be sure to include any observations that will need to be discussed with the citizen scientist individually upon completion of the field audit session. Step three, the monitoring kit and all equipment and reagents must be inspected by the trainer and or quality assurance officer at the beginning of the session as applicable to the monitoring type. The main things to look for include malfunctioning or damaged equipment, reagent expiration dates, and use of the most recent monitoring form. Step four, next, the citizen scientists will conduct the monitoring event in the same way they do when they visit their site. The trainer and or quality assurance officer observes them conduct the monitoring event and ensures all items listed on the QC checklist are implemented and adhered to as described. Any infractions to the protocols are documented in the comments section for discussion once the session has been completed. Step five, after the monitoring event has been completed, the trainer and or quality assurance officer conducting the session reviews the completed monitoring form to ensure proper documentation of all applicable fields and discusses any infractions observed with the citizen scientist. Any feedback for improvements is also discussed. Once the trainer and or quality assurance officer completes the communication with the citizen scientist, and is satisfied with the technique used for implementation of the monitoring protocols, the form is signed, 
dated and submitted to the Texas Dream Team. For more information about this training video, contact the Texas Dream Team by email, phone, or go to our website at www.texasdreamteam.org. I hope you found this training video helpful. Thank you for your time and dedication to preserving Texas waterways.